we can see the back of Hogwarts. This is so exciting! Good morning, Callies. Raleigh is studying her Hogsmeade map because we are on our way to Universal Studios and the kids are getting a wand at Old Viander's and doing all of the magical wand interactions for the very first time. And we're inviting you to come along for the ride. So we had a big morning. We woke up at 4 a.m., uh, drove out to Hollywood here from the Coachella Valley. So we have had a really big, fun morning. I am actually here with my brother and his kids and my mom. Uh, we are here with the kids for the first time, so it's really fun to share it with them. All right, we've had a very fun morning here at Universal Studios Hollywood, but it is finally time to walk into Hogsmeade, AKA the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We are very excited about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are going to get some oh, wands for the first please time. Please respect the spell limit. Please respect the spell limit. So this is the kids' first time walking into this land. Oh. Now, so you guys, we're not going to do butter beer because it does have gluten cross contamination. And recently, Raleigh did get some cross contamination with a Kroger product that was not properly marked. So we're definitely going to avoid anything with gluten or cross contamination of gluten. The kids really want to go on this main um, Harry Potter ride here in Hogsmeade, but I don't think the three of the four kids are not tall enough. So it does have a lot of movement so that you do have to be 48 inches to sit in the seat. It comes down like this. Over your shoulders. Oh, then how does it like? Do you want to sit in it and see? It's to hold you in, and you have to be a certain height to sit in it. That's why. So we're just gonna walk through so they can see the inside of Hogwarts. No, you just walk through, and we can see everything all along the way. This is really cool, you guys. Just to walk through it will be so awesome. Oh my gosh, the I mean, you really feel like you're in Hogwarts. It's really incredible. Oh, that's the mirror. That's the mirror. This is cool, this atrium, it's like a garden area. The vegetation is really amazing. I mean, I'm really impressed with Universal Studios and how immersed you feel in the land. I'm going on some of these rides for the first time and I'm very impressed with there's the art direction and the ride design and how immersed you feel in the land. It's really incredible. I mean, look at this. You almost have to walk to, you have to walk through a little too fast because, oh look at all the plants, the mandrakes. Cool. You kind of, you don't have much time to take it in. It happens so fast. Oh, this is great. All the professors and the, the ghosts and the statues and very cool. Oh, there's a unicorn. I mean, this is unreal to just, even if you guys are, your kids are too short, just walk through this line. It's like you're on a tour, a walking tour of Hogwarts. It's pretty incredible. No, and, and it's air conditioned, so you can escape the heat because it is quite hot right now. We're having a really hot June here in California. They really did such an amazing job on this land. I'm really rather think of myself. So there is the ride. So you're flying as if you're on, like flying through Hogwarts, through the experience. So again, you have to be 48 inches. So they really give you a preview of like, this is what's going to happen. It is a rocky ride. What do you see, Raleigh? What's it called? It's a sorting hat. Raleigh's so excited because she found the sorting hat. Wow, you guys, look at the enchanted ceiling. All right, Declan is asking me if I like the ride. It was really amazing, like design-wise. I was really impressed with the ride. It personally made me really, really motion sick. So I had to close my eyes about halfway through. Both of you guys got motion sick, but I didn't get motion sick any of the time. Yeah, so my mom and I got really a lot of motion sickness. You also can't go on it if you're afraid of spiders. Like, forget it. You're not gonna, you're gonna freak. Or, or, or ghouls. Just, 
or, or just scary things in general. Re or, Haunted mansions. Or reapers. Yeah, reapers. You or, can't go on if you're afraid of reapers. Or um, white faced guys. Yeah. yeah. And if you're afraid of dragons. haunted man. Oh yeah, dra dragons, haunted mansions. Yeah. Um, spiders. And then it's um, hard white faced guys and reapers. Yeah. If you are afraid of all of those, you will hate the ride. <laughs> yeah, and it's hard too if you have kids that are not 48 inches, but they feel old enough to go on it so my nephew really wanted to go on it but he's not 48 inches so he had to watch Declan go on it so that's really hard too. They also have wands just like at a kiosk here so there's a lot of places to buy wands but we really want to go to Oleander's and we're so excited that it's open because you guys on the map it says that it's closed. It's not closed. What it is is the, watch out sweetie, the wand experience is closed. So um, they used to have a show experience. Um, about 30 people could be inside watching while one lucky young wizard or witch um, gets their first wand and it, it picks them. After going on Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, we were feeling a little woozy and we really needed some food. So we went into Hogshead. We got some bangers and mash. Jonathan tried the Butter beer. Frozen butter beer. What did you think? You're, I mean, it's almost done. I liked done. it. It's good. Yeah, it's pretty it's yummy. Great. If you like butterscotch, you'll like it. Now we are finally going into Oleander's. This is the much anticipated moment of our day here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Yes, it is. My kids. Yes, yes it, is. it is. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. We have about two hours left. It's six o'clock, six thirty-ish. And uh, we want to buy the wand. We're going to get one wand and just share it because they are a little pricey. And then um, our goal is to go around the land and uh, do all the magical spells. So wish us luck. We don't have a lot of time, uh, but here we go. We're walking in Old Vianders and we're just so excited that it's open. I love this shop. I've only been in here once, but it's so special to get to take the kids. There's wands from floor to ceiling. It's so incredible. It just has such a magical feeling, you guys. I love it so much. They've got drawers and drawers full of wands. So the kids are already unboxing wands. The shiny labels are the interactive, and the flat labels that are not shiny are not interactive. So this side, they're um, paired to uh, characters, and then over on this side, they are the wand, the original. Ollivander Originals. No, I haven't. So we're gonna go look at some scrolls. You hold on to that, Raleigh. So it's quite complex and they come out with new ones, limited edition ones. Um, I honestly am learning so much about it right now. Okay, let's take a look. This is very pretty. I like how authentic it looks. If you look here closely, you can see what the wand looks like. They have a display wand. So that's really helpful. So this is the one we just unboxed. That one's very pretty, but let's keep looking. I feel like we might find a really special one. Like, look at this. Oh, but look, this is not interactive because it's a flat label. Let's keep looking, Raleigh. Let's keep looking. Declan, which one did you find? Ooh, that one looks very magical. Is it? It's not interactive though. So we're trying to go for the interactive because we know that if one of the kids gets a non-interactive one, they might be disappointed that they can't interact with the land and do like cast actual magical spells. Oh wow, look at this. This is Harry Potter's wand and it's interactive. Do you like that? But it has, it does have a skeleton though. Is that okay? Okay, let's do this one. And it's definitely interactive, right? Raleigh, do you like this kind of handle? If you tell your kids they're sharing, it might be kind of difficult to pick a one because they're each gonna have different tastes. They're gonna want different things. But we finally settled. They picked some really cool ones, you guys. 
um, Declan's, it had a snake, and Raleigh's, it was like this beautiful shell, a jewel. Uh, but we decided, since we're just getting one wand to share with everybody, we're going to do the original. We're going to do the Harry Potter wand. We're very excited about it. And we're going to go cast some magical spells with you guys. Thank you, Gaga. She is so generous. I also told the kids, if they get really, really into this, we can come back. They can get their personal wand. This is the one that Raleigh was looking at. The kids, $64. I, why, why do you think we should share? So the grand total with tax on one interactive one on the Harry Potter one was $65 so it really does cost something especially if you have a lot of kids with you or maybe adults that want to buy ones because I am I am filling these ones we're gonna head out of here and then I love this part of the shop it's so magical and fantastical with all these those are the Hogwarts robes um, so those so if you get really really into it there's a lot to do there's a lot to buy but today we are just gonna come out of here thank you Gaga yeah. with our Harry Potter interactive wand so let's head out Raleigh and go use that wand all right we still have a little daylight thank you sir there we go out into Hogsmeade so here's the marker so you have a marker oh look and they have a key so it tells you what to do yeah. Wingardium Leviosa. Like you put your me. feet on either side of the marker and then you do the spell. Oh, fine. Let's start one. Okay, I think it's across the street here. Okay. So you start at Old Viander's and you work all the way through the land. There. Do you see the marker on the ground? Wait, someone's going to help you, sweetie. You have to... It's really like going to wizarding school. They really have to get it just right. All right, so it is a little trickier than we imagined, but we'll get it. <gasps> you did it, Declan! Wow! You unlocked the box! Oh, oh! Somebody's a gamer. Okay, let's let Henry try. Rolly, you go again, okay? After Henry. <gasps> you did it! You did it! He stopped. He stopped with his annoying scratching, scribbling. Oh, he started again. Get him to stop, Declan. Rolly, do you want to try? Let's like let's give Raleigh a try. <gasps> Look at that, Raleigh! You did it! Your first successful spell. Give me five. High five. All right. We're making our way past Dervish and Bangs, and we're finding a couple more of these uh, interactive locations. Oh yeah, look at that. Silencio. Oh, you know what? You make it stop. That's how it works. <gasps> you did it, Declan. You did it. It's because I found the center. Wait, it's still going. But it's not the center. That's right. It's quiet. Silencio. You did it. You did it. You guys are really getting that wrist flick. Yeah. Bravo, Raleigh. Young little witches and wizards in the making. I could just spend all day in this land, you guys. I can't believe this. The park's about to close. I'm so sad. It's only open until 8 right now. Okay, where to next? All right, we found one more. Sometimes you find them because other people are doing them, but it's not too crowded right now, so we haven't had to wait any lines, which is really nice. It kind of takes the magic out of it if you have to wait in a line to cast a spell, but it would still be really fun for the kids. Even Uncle John can't do this one. Yeah, there's a pattern. 
Here's the pattern. There's a pattern on the ground. So you stand the on the... It's going to make the instruments go. Where's the sensor, Declan? Declan's really good at finding the sensor. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to try it. This is harder than it looks, you guys. Wait. We know they're interactive. Is my want... Is this working? No, no, no. <gasps> oh, Declan has the magic touch. I could, you guys, I really couldn't get it. So it's not as easy as it looks. Raleigh, bravo, she did it. Oh, this is a really fun one because you feel like a conductor with the wand. Oh, here's one that's on the map, Incendio. I think it's something up there. Yeah. Oh, you flickered the light on. Is that what you did? Was it? Oh, maybe it levitates the bucket. Oh, Declan, I found the sensor. You find the sensor and make sure you're pointing towards the sensor. Not to like spoil the magic, but that helps because this is harder than it looks. What happened? Oh my gosh, okay, do, try to do it again. Oh wow, Declan. That is really cool. Oh my gosh, Uncle John is trying to get it. It's harder than it looks, you guys. It is, Declan has been the, the wizard master of the day. Wait, let's give little Oliver a try. He's been very patient. I love his confidence. Oh, oh my gosh. And just like that, just like that. Okay. I don't know if we can let you use that wand yet. You're a little too confident with that wand. Go, Uncle John. All right, yeah, okay, we warmed it up. <laughs> Backseat wand wander. I have I have some really bad news. Yeah, the secret one is closed. Right? The secret wand location, the magical wand location that I was really excited to share with you is temporarily closed. It's been closed for a month. It broke. And so there's no magic in that corner of Hogsmeade right now. But at some Can you point. See it? Yeah, I'll show it to you. At some point, we'll be back. So we'll show it to you guys, but so currently it is it was... not working. Okay, you guys, so this is the lev the 12th location that is not on the map. Um, I believe it's like there's a dragon behind the door. I mean, I'm just this is just based on my memory. And the door bangs forward, but you can see right now there is an anti-jinx in place. So magic is ineffective at this time. I'm really bummed, but I have to tell you, this land is one of my all-time favorite lands, especially if you're a Harry Potter fan. There is just, I mean, you guys, Mildred was in the bathroom. Uh, is that her name? <laughs> Mumbling. So it was, I mean, there's just such attention to detail and you really feel immersed in the Harry Potter series. So I highly recommend checking this out. Even if you are not a big fan of Harry Potter, there is something for everyone, whether it's just a sugary, butterbeer or you want to cast some spells and dress in robes it's pretty special thank you so much for joining me today here at hogsmeade getting our first ones and um, pra practicing our magic for the first time the kids had so much fun and uh, thanks again if you like this give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you later in super cali land bye